America has the best and worst education system in the world. On one hand, we're endowed with a college education that produces the best scientists, engineers, writers, artists, and entrepreneurs in the world. I should have said there's only a few Gates and Zuckerbergs. The colleges that fulfill our American dreams are also leading us en route for broader social equality. They balance the demographics, the socioeconomics, with academics among their applicants. On the other hand, our K-12 education has been struggling for at least 40 years, as we've known it, since A Nation at Risk was published by the Reagan administration. The standardized tests that let us see the problem are now demonized as something not designed to tell what kids are told in classrooms, but what money is about. These tests, which are originated from America, are only able to assess Finnish, Japanese, Singaporean, and even Chinese students. Putting both pictures together, it is clear that our education system is out of sync. 1. The K-12 classrooms can no longer teach what is wholeheartedly valued, both in tests and in admission. 2. The college admission does not treat classroom and test academics as much as they used to do. 3. Tests, still in line with students' intelligence level, no longer mark either classroom or admission success. The results? America is running short of engineers and scientists that run its workplaces. According to Smithsonian, there are 2.5 million STEM jobs left unfilled yearly. In every college, contrarily, one to two thirds of students who enter as engineer majors drop out simply because they are unable to maintain the required academics. We are also missing out STEM teachers in K-12 classrooms. In U.S. public schools, demands for new teachers, especially in math and science, outpaces supply by more than 100,000. Schools simply cannot find willing and qualified American candidates. But merely 3,500 foreign teachers are hired to fill this blank. That's because visa is another big issue. It is not only Trump who has not made this problem easier. <laughs> the famine on math and science teachers is even growing at a growing rate. So, American students are undertaught in STEM subjects. This is the fundamental cause of a supply deficiency in engineers in our economy. Many highly ranked colleges in America denote their education as the inequality solvers. Admissions have been increasingly tilted towards equality measures for well beyond a decade. Top students are often guided to pour their extracurricular hours into Rwanda, Myanmar, and Nepal on funded philanthropic projects. Holistic evaluations also take into account of candidates' local and racial backgrounds. It seems the Harvards and Princetons alike have been socially more equal than anywhere else. Along with inequity in colleges appearing to soften, the lack of teachers' and students' deficiencies in math and science are still widened. American education is still suffering inequity. But it seems more obvious that we have lowered our education quality while making it more socially equal. It is now both a quality and a equality problem that is troubling us all. Our eyeballs and respects, both as citizens and parents, have made up the ranks of elite colleges so that they attract more and more of our talented sons and daughters even in this pandemic. As colleges expand their fame, wealth, and applications in decades, our kids suffer more in schools on things they are supposed to learn and enjoy. Did any of these colleges tell us that the leadership, the altruism, and the creativity they taught us through the admissions won't help slow, stop, or even to say reverse the American K-12 deteriorating? 
One thing that always correlates with the students' math and science performances and predicts their potentials in STEM fields is the standardized tests. To those education professionals who doubt the integrity of the tests, here is a question for you. Why are these tests measuring students in all other countries well, but not the American students, as you claimed? Or are you surely able to teach American students into Martians that shouldn't be evaluated by an earthly assessment? This video is meant to raise critical questions, yet to provide definite answers.